Welcome to the Berry Girls Kitchen. I'm Linda. And I'm Kylie. With summertime comes grilling. And what better way to do that than in a healthy way? Today we're making grilled tofu patties with asparagus and pesto with goat cheese bell peppers. Best, the best, the best. Let's talk about some of the benefits of eating tofu. It lowers the risk of cardiovascular disease as well as prostate and breast cancers and type 2 diabetes. Now, we love anything that helps type 2 diabetes. Absolutely. We definitely do. And tofu is say cholesterol free, low calorie, high protein food. That could possibly help you lose some weight. Excellent. We can all go for that, right? But here's the fun part, Mom. The reason why is because it allows you to feel fuller, longer, on fewer calories than meat. Okay, now that makes sense. I'm sold. So let's get started. Okay. Okay. So, tofu needs to be drained, okay? Because it has all this water in here. Mm -hmm. So my little trick that I do, you guys, is I have a large mixing bowl. I'll place the uh, cooling rack on top of of the mixing bowl. Mm -hmm. Take the block of tofu, place it on top of there. Use another plate, put it on top of the tofu, but you need something to weigh it down to press it out. So I normally grab either some flour, nice pound of flour or sugar to kind of help press that out there. Think of it as Jenga with tofu. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> this should be done overnight though to kind of maximize as much release of the water as possible. So we're gonna take our block of tofu here. Start with cilantro. Beautiful. Now you can keep the stem on there or you can take it off. It's up to you. We're gonna add in our garlic here. Mmm, I love garlic. Sriracha. Yes. Our lemon juice here. And our soy sauce. Don't forget your oats. Now it's the fun part. Make sure the top is on there very good, okay? Excellent. Blend until smooth. Okay, so now, Mom, we're gonna go ahead and empty all of this greatness out of here. All of that goodness. Now, let's go ahead, and Mom, if you wanna go ahead and toss in those carrots and green go. onions. We love that. Let's go ahead and spray the grill with a nonstick coating, and then we'll place the patty on the grill for three to four minutes on each side. Then we'll remove these and place them on a paper towel to drain any excess yes. oil. Yes. All right, now let's move on to cooking our asparagus. But before we do that, let's talk about some of the benefits of this nutrient-packed vegetable. It contains fiber, folate, and loaded with nutrients. That's like a serious vitamin check. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start by cutting at least an inch off the stem of each asparagus, okay? From there, you're going to place them on top of your grill here on medium heat, okay? Medium heat. I love this part. We're gonna drizzle a little bit of our oil on there. I suggest extra virgin olive oil, but you can use whatever oil you might have handy, okay? Yeah. So you just keep cooking these until they're tender but crisp. Yeah. Uh, it only takes a couple minutes. It doesn't take long, but at this point is when you want to possibly think about maybe adding a little bit of pink Himalayan salt or kosher salt, whatever salt that you might have available. Once they're all done, add in just a little squeeze of lemon here. All right, now let's move on to our pesto and goat cheese bell peppers. Let's get these started. All right, so we'll combine the balsamic vinegar and the olive oil. And what we're going to do is paint our paint bell peppers. Brush. Paint brush. So mom, while you're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the goat cheese and pesto. Excellent. Mm -hmm. so we're gonna mix together our pesto and goat cheese here. And we've got our grill on medium heat yes. right now, so it will be nice and toasty and ready to go. So All right. I'll go ahead and start putting these on the grill. Feel free to add that on top inside of our halves there. Sounds good. 
And so while we're putting the goat cheese on here, it's gonna take about three to five minutes for it to actually melt. So keep that in mind, keep an eye out for it. And then once it's melted, just indulge. All right. We have our tofu burgers, our asparagus, mm -hmm. and our pesto and goat cheese bell peppers. There you have it. Another healthy, flavorful, and fun recipe from us, the Berry Girls. And when you try these at home, please leave us a comment and let us know how you make it count. The Berry Girls are brought to you by Hen House. Berry Girls out.